Okay, in this video, we're going to be setting up a, a very simple Terraform project to build some Azure resources. So probably the first thing you want to do is go to the video description and go grab the uh, URL to the GitHub repository so you can follow along with these steps as I go through them. So what we're going to be building is we have some Terraform that creates a minimal virtual network and a single public subnet. Then we'll create a Ubuntu virtual machine and a custom data script will run, which will install Apache during the instance's boot process. So to get started, uh, let's download the repository in your development environment. I have a simple Ubuntu environment, which uh, is also hosted on Azure. And I'm going to pull the project. So there's the project. Now, the first thing is there's a series of commands that need to be installed before Packer and Terraform can run. And they are the AZ CLI, the Terraform command line, and the Packer command line. And so uh, you want to make sure you have those. Uh, so go ahead and install those. And then what you can do is, um, you know, I'm going to do Packer version, AZ version. This one was Terraform version. The next step is you need an Azure account. Um, now, you'll need to pretty much upgrade to pay as you go because there's some weirdness with the free tier that's hard to predict where some services are only available in certain regions and some of my projects just won't work with the free tier because they'll mismatch like Cosmos and App Gateway. Uh, so you want to do pay as a go. I, I think you can still use your $200 credit. It's just basically you agree to pay if you exceed it. So once you have that Azure account, um, there's some information you need to pull out of the Azure account. There's really four primary pieces of information you're going to end up putting in environment variables. Subscription, tenant, client ID, and client secret. So we'll walk through how you get all those values uh, right now. So the first one is the subscription ID. Um, now, first off, I'm, I, this is a burner account that's going to be deleted after this, so you're going to see some UIDs and go ahead and try to use them because they're they're going to be deleted once we're done with um, this video. Uh, so we've got first thing we need to do is the subscription. So you go to subscriptions. You can also search for it up here, um, and that first file you that you have is right there. You need to copy that and you know save that. So that's this first one. The second one is we need to get the tenant ID. And that's really your Active Directory instance. So if I do Active Directory, it maps to this intra ID. And you're going to see that there's a tenant ID associated with the default directory. And that's the second information that you need to get. And that is, uh, I guess we're 50% there. We've got half of what we need to actually do a Terraform build. So the next step is we got to get a client ID and a client secret. And to do that, we need to create an app registration from within the default directory. So we want to go and click on app registrations. I want to say new registration, and I'm going to call it Terraform. Hit register, and that's going to create it. But we also need to go to here and say add a certificate or secret ID. So let me click on add and I'll say Terraform secret and click on add. And you can see you've got these information. Now you got to go ahead and copy this information here because this is the only time you're actually going to be able to see this. Um, so you've got your vow, uh, your, your secret uh, ID and then the client ID. So uh, those are the last two values that we need to put in there. Uh, the only thing else we need to do is we need to go back to the um, subscriptions. And I've got to grant a role to that app registration so it actually works. So I click on description, click on access control IAM, and say add role assignment. And I'm going to pick the privilege administrator roles, click contributor. Hit next. Now I got to select that guy that I just created. So, yeah, Terraform. Select that, and 
we have selected it. View and assign. So we've got the, the four values now. Okay, so the next step is to take those four values and we need to set them as these environment variables. So I give you some simple code in here to copy and paste to, to fill them in. And you'll put that in there um, into your environment variables. Um, so I've already done that. And so what I'm going to do is there's a script called check env, check env. And it will go and run and make sure that um, you can log into Azure. So that's this sort of checks your environment. So at this point, um, I believe we're at the run the apply script. So I am going to uh, fire off the apply script. And it's going to go do the check env. While it's doing that, I'm going to go and look at the code a little bit. So look, it's, let's look at main TF. Um, and here we're, we're creating a resource group. When I show you what's get built in the console, you'll see that. It's in central US. Then I create a, a VNet and then a subnet in that. And then uh, some security rules to allow port 22 and port 80. And then finally, um, we set up the network card and then IP address. And then finally, the actual VM. And so we, we include a public key, which you'll need to access it. And then custom data, which is under scripts custom data. And it's simply the Ubuntu instance starts up and it installs Apache and then it's serving um, responses on port 80. So that that's the code. Um, let's go back to the build and see where we're at. All right, so it's still building. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh, just finished it. So what I'd like to do is sort of log into the console, uh, the Azure console. So in here, and I'm going to click on um, resource groups. And you can see the setup resource group is there. So you go in there, and we've got all those objects that we just talked about. We've got the, uh, the VNet, which has got the subnet going on and then what else do we have um, home resource groups set up uh, then we got the VM the public IP address the network service group and some of this and there's the disk as well so it's really sort of a minimal setup and Azure just to see something so what we're going to do is go back to the uh, SSH, and I'm using MOBA, but just use your um, your favorite SSH terminal. So I'm going to take this um, guy right here and create a new session or edit a session. Let's do um, I guess this one. Edit session. Put in there. Uh, change the bookmark. And make sure in your advanced settings that you're specifying that private key. So let's do that. Hit OK. And now let's connect. Accept the server key. All right. So now uh, let's just do top. And it looks like it has installed. So I'll do systemctl. Uh, actually, I got to do sudo. Don't do sudo systemctl status. Uh, Apache 2. To spell it right. It's working. So I go back to, to here. I get the um, address. I take it and put it in the browser. And if all goes well, I should see um, the Ubuntu page. So there we go. That's the complete setup. Um, at this point, um, you can play with it, modify it, if you will. You should be able to rerun that pipeline, and it'll pick up the changes. Um, but at the end of the day, you're going to want to destroy everything. Um, so we want to go in, and there's a destroy script. And it will go and destroy everything.